Hello there, this is Adam from uh, Me Canto Product Reviews. Hopefully you can hear me today. I am whispering as I have someone in the room asleep with me right now. So um, I apologize if it's quiet. Uh, I would like to show you Elegant Tube Press today. As you can see here, this is my product review. If you like what you see after the review, I will put a link to this page in the description. And should you purchase through this page, you will also receive all of the bonuses listed on my review page with um, three simple steps on how to claim them, as shown there. So I've been playing with this theme a bit and um, show you what I have so far here. Basically, I've only um, made five posts, which is five videos. Um, and this is already how the theme is coming along. Uh, as you can see, it's quite nice visually. Uh, remember, I've only been working on this for about 10 minutes before creating this video. Um, we have the floating opt-in form in the corner. We have the five featured videos, as I mentioned. Um, at any point, you can click Watch Later, and it's added to my Watch Later list, which is here, and this is unique to my, uh, my I guess, vi uh, visitor experience. So this page will be unique to all of your visitors depending on what videos they want to watch later on. I have not set up the menu just yet, so this is actually the default menu up here. You have the search function and you have all of the social integration. Uh, if you click on the video, you can see how this is set up quite nicely where um, you can play the video, actually auto plays in this case, and you have the related videos to the right, which is also really nice. Beautiful woman on the screen. Uh, I apologize to any females watching this right now, but I do have to call it like it is. Um, now, this call to action I have also added. I'll show you how I did that in a second. This goes to my website. Um, we've got the description, which was automatically populated. The title was automatically populated as well. Uh, you've got, what do they call these things again? Gosh, this is going to kill me. Um, the breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs. You've got this is very good for SEO. The ads here, I added uh, two random ads. Now remember, this is just a test page. I'm not actually going to monetize this page for anything. I'm just playing with the theme itself. So. I grabbed the first two ads I could find on my hard drive um, and just placed them there so I could, you know, get a visual sense of this theme. You've got the like buttons, the social sharing buttons, the view count there. And there's other things you can do as well that I have not actually done yet. So let's go into WordPress in the dashboard and kind of see how we can set this up. Alright, so when you install Elegant Tube Press, uh, first of all, you're going to have uh, the WordPress theme, and which is Elegant Tube Press. Then you're going to have uh, two plugins to install, which is Elegant Video Ads, which I have not yet used. Um, this is to create like um, video ad overlays which is I think you know that's a little more complex I may do another video for that feature um, but I just want to go through the basics in this one then you have elegant video finder which is really cool and I'm gonna show you that one in a moment but here, here we are in the um, general settings and before we go through this let me tell you something very important when you install the theme itself and the plugins, you're going to need to come into appearance, theme license, and enter your license key. Otherwise, none of this is going to appear, and you're going to wonder where the theme and plugin is in your dashboard. 
Same thing with the plugins. Go into plugins, license key, enter your keys for these two plugins, and then you'll be good to go. Also, very important is you need your YouTube API key in order to make this work. They will explain how to get that if you are not sure, or you can simply Google how to get your YouTube API key. So as you go through here, you can see that you can put in your own logo or you can add text uh, text lo uh, logo, which is what I've done in this case. I've just simply put Adam's videos there. Uh, you can add, also put logo watermarks in all of your videos. It does have to be a 100 by 100 image though. You put in your email address, copyright, and then you can also put in optional code in the header and footer. Okay, so as you go into styling, this is basically uh, allowing you to change the default layout of the theme itself, and you know you have you have a good amount of flexibility here as far as like how many featured items you're going to show, uh, you know how how the page is going to be set up, and um, right now I have it, I have mine as the default, but you know you can easily change this to tiled carousel, slideshow, really whatever you want, box style, frame style, you know, all kinds of stuff. The color can be changed. A lot of flexibility with the body background as well. You can use images, you can stretch a background image. Um, really, there's a lot that you can do here. As you can see, there's even more on and on it goes. And you can also use custom CSS code. So that is it for the styling, but basically what you see here on the home page is the default style. Um, of course, you will not see anything at all until you start adding videos, so keep that in mind. Um, once you add videos, it'll take care of itself. Uh, also very important, before we move on, this is something that got me uh, after I installed the plugin. You want to make sure that in settings and reading over here, in this uh, in this settings of your WordPress theme, uh, depending on what theme you might be using previously or what your settings were previously, make sure the home page and post page are set to nothing. To it should say select like it does on mine. In my case, I had something selected for front page, and that was preventing anything from showing up, and I didn't know why at first. Um, but yeah, so make sure those are empty and you're on a clean slate, basically. Um, okay, moving on to content settings. This is your homepage title text. Uh, you can choose whether or not you want to display the excerpt of your post, uh, whether or not you want to display a sidebar, the watch later page. All you need to do for this, and I showed you that earlier, all you need to do is select a um, to create a new page, as I'll show you here. Give you a little quick demo of how easy this is to do. And, and, and you know, I'm not I'm not really an advanced user myself, but I found this to be a very user friendly WordPress theme, which I truly appreciate. So there, I gave it my title, and all you need to do is select the Watch Later template, publish, and you're set. Simple as that. That is all you need to do there. So <clears throat> that is what I did, and then you'll be able to select that page from the drop down. You can choose which categories you want to display on your home page. You don't have to display everything, you can be selective. You can custom your 404 uh, not found page. You can disable the themes SEO meta. This is good if you have another SEO plugin installed because you don't want those plugins to conflict. Basically, you want to use one or the other. I would recommend, um, even if you're using a plugin like Yoast, I would recommend um, not disabling this because this has very good built in SEO for its purpose, which is being a video website. Um, I explained some of the advantages of video SEO. Uh, or video websites for SEO in my review so you can check that again the link is in my description you can choose if you want the videos to autoplay I have this set to yes 
pause video when not in focus. I believe that's actually a good option. What this means is that if your visitor scrolls down past the video, instead of it, instead of keep playing the video, it will pause the video, which I believe is good because obviously they're not watching it at that point. Okay, use CTA in all posts, and here is where you can create the call to action buttons, which you saw. And you can create various buttons. So far, I only have one. But uh, you saw that here actually in every video. There it is. And um, as you can see, let's go back here. As you can see, if we um, expand this, we're going to see the text that you just saw on my button visit my website and we can create another one let's just change this from let's call it button number one and this will be button number two um, and I can say something like buy now I'm going to use the same link and then click add so you're going to see how that comes into play in a moment. Definitely want to save changes every time we do something here. And we're just waiting for that to finish saving. Once it does, it's going to tell you settings saved. And you can come down to the next section, which is your ads. As you can see, there's a lot of areas that are designated for advertisements. Um, so far, I've only added ad codes uh, in the single video top and single video bottom. And uh, this is what you see. Again, I'm going to bring up my post. I uh, suppose I should have just left it on the screen, but uh, um, let me show you what we mean by the top and bottom video ad here. As we... Um, play this particular video. Here is the top ad and here is the bottom ad. And as you can see there are many other ads you can use including mobile. You do have to enter the HTML code. Um, and then you can also use elegant video ads which is not something I am going over in this video. You also have social settings. Link up all of your social accounts if you wish. Just enter your links in there and it will be integrated with your WordPress theme and website. You got comment settings, light box settings. You have opt-in settings. Right now I have the, um, the bottom opt-in enabled, um, which is this right here and it floats along with um, the visitor experience when they scroll up and down this remains static they can easily close it as well and it's gone so that's pretty much that for the settings now I'm just going to show you how to add a video so we go into post add new And what I'm going to do now, I've been um, adding videos about Sammy Watkins, a uh, NFL football player, to this point. So I'm going to do a different player this time and just show you how it works. Um, we're going to choose button number two as our call to action. My excerpt is going to be Mario Williams highlights number one. We're going to have it as a featured video, which means it's going to appear at the, um, the top area of my home page up here. We'll see that in a moment. And you can either grab a link from YouTube, or you can take advantage of this really useful video finder, which is exactly what I'm going to do. This is, the pl this is one of the two plugins that you're going to install. So you plug in that keyword, hit search, 
and this is possible because you have the YouTube API key uh, linked up to to um, Elegant Tube Press. Like I mentioned to you, that's one of the uh, most important things that you have to do at the beginning when setting this up. So we're going to add the Mario Williams 2014 season highlights. You can also preview it before you, if you're not sure. But once you click add this video, it's going to show you the snapshot. It's going to enter the link on its own, automatically populate that field. It's going to automatically populate your description for you. You can change anything if you wish. And it's going to populate the title as well. Again, any of that can be changed, but it's very convenient because the content is automatic. And all I'm going to do is simply come in here and make a category for Mario Williams. And then I'm going to click Publish. So in a matter of seconds, I have another video on my website. Very easy to use, very convenient from a visual from a visual um, point of view. It's also very visually appealing, I believe, as a WordPress theme. And remember, it's, uh, there's a lot you can do as far as how you can customize this theme. It doesn't have to be plain and white like mine is. You can have a logo there. You can change the way your featured videos show up. So let's go ahead and refresh and, and see where our new video is. And there it is, Mario Williams 2014 season highlights shows up right there as one of our featured clips. If you go ahead and click on it, we're going to see our new call to action for buy now. There's the description, there's the breadcrumbs, the category, our ads as usual, comments down here. You do Facebook and regular comments, which is also cool. We have no related videos just yet because uh, we don't have any related videos. Okay, so that's um, pretty much what I wanted to show you with the Elegant Tube Press theme. Um, hopefully this demo helped you out and give you a walkthrough of the bit basics of this theme and the plugins that come with it. Um, again, I apologize for the volume of this video. I'll definitely um, edit it, trying to get it a bit louder before it goes up on YouTube, but um, again, if this is something that you could see yourself using, then I encourage you to click the link in the description because you're also going to get some free bonuses, and I also guarantee that you will get the best price for Elegant Tube Press on my homepage. Um, finally, I just want to thank you for your support uh, by watching this video. You are definitely supporting my channel, and I truly appreciate that. If you'd like to see more demos, please do subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that as well. And with that said, have a wonderful rest of your day and week.